Hey there! In this video, I'll do a short walkthrough to help you get up and running with your Hoopboard kiosk by showing you how to customize the look and navigation of what the end user would be seeing. Since Hoopboard's kiosk software is cloud-based, you'll be setting everything up from your account at hoopboard.com. And then over here on the right, we'll be showing you what happens to the interface on the kiosk when you make those changes. So let's get started by navigating to your Hoopboard and then going to Admin Manage Board. And on the Info tab, You'll find the board profile section where you can give a name to your, your board, upload a logo, and then also provide a short description. And this is usually helpful to let end users know what they can use your hoop board for. Uh, so this is just an example right here. In the customization section, you can match your brand's colors and uh, customize the background. And then some of the other customization features will be available for each particular screen ID that was paired with your kiosk. So this lets you uh, customize the settings specific to individual kiosks. So um, we'll go to admin, manage screens, and then uh, walk through a few examples. So uh, the first one we're gonna go through is you can specify what the default view you would like uh, on your display, a bulletin board view or an app view. And then this is what the two of them look like. Uh, you can also change which collection of hoots you want to load by default or uh, hide a poster's name. And that's just a few of them here. You can also try playing around with some of the other ones or read an article on what they do. Uh, there's also a location option, which if you update this, it'll update the weather widget with that location. And then you can also map uh, the location to open up a Wayfinder app or maybe a floor plan, a local Google map. So those are just a few examples of what you can do with that. Uh, so the last step in terms of customizing your kiosk is to configure the navigation and then this is done under admin screen apps. Here you can create which app icons are used and where they map to such as uh, Hoopboard's calendar feature. That's one, one option. The second option would be to map to a collection app which lets you load up specific content on your Hoopboard. So this can be for anything that you want it to be. Uh, in this example we'll create one for announcements. And then when someone would touch on the announcements icon, it would load up with all the hoots that have been tagged as announcements, or maybe you can do a jobs one. Um, to create an application, just simply give it a name, choose an icon, or upload your own, and then decide where it will map to. Uh, the third option for the mapping the icons is to go to a third-party website or application by pasting a URL. Uh, an easy example would be creating a suggestion box one and then that can go to a survey tool like Typeform or SurveyMonkey. And there's lots of apps that can work on Hoopboard. So if you're looking for one, uh, just reach out to your account manager and we'd be happy to recommend uh, some, some applications that we often see used on Hoopboard. We hope uh, this short walkthrough helped out. And if you do have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at hoopboard.com. Thanks.